Hi, I'm Mark McKnight and welcome to this lesson in jazz guitar with learnerplay.com. Um, today in this lesson we're going to combine the chord shapes that we so far have learned uh, for the B-flat blues with our knowledge of the modes. In doing so, we're going to see which notes are available to us when we're improvising over each chord in that progression. Uh, this is the first stage in our beginning to improvise uh, guitar solos over our chord progressions. So uh, on the guitar, I find uh, a lot of guitar players are very tempted to try and play the notes for each mode over the entire neck before starting to tackle improvisation. Um, in my experience, this is maybe not the best way forward. I've found um, that it's much more beneficial to limit the area of the neck we cover and to start to try and internalize smaller amounts of information but really learn them properly. Um, when we do this, we can learn one area of the neck in detail and begin to appreciate the sound of the modes and chords in that area, um, apply and strengthen our practical technique on the guitar, and also start to work on crafting lines which we'll be able to play when we improvise. Um, after some time, when we've gained understanding in each of these um, areas of music, it's then time to start to branch out into different positions on the neck of the guitar. Um, if you recall in our earlier lesson, on comping in the jazz blues, we selected one shape uh, for each chord in the progression. Um, now we're going to decide what modes work over each of these chords and I'll show you a shape for that mode which fits over the chord shape you've already learned. Um, okay, so let's, let's begin. Our first chord is B flat 7. If you remember back, it was with its root on the 6th fret of the low E string, like this. Okay, so this chord is the fifth mode of the major scale. It's related to the fifth mode of the major scale. And the mode we associate with it is called mixolydian. Therefore, the B flat seven chord will take a B flat mixolydian. Uh, and this is gonna be the fifth mode of the E flat major scale. Um, Cause E flat major, E, F, G, A flat, B flat. B flat is the fifth note. So the fifth mode of that scale. Um, so in essence, all we have to do to get a B flat mixolydian sound is play the E flat major scale over a B flat seven chord. So let's hear what that sounds like and here's the shape we're gonna use. Okay, uh, so let's move on to our second chord, which is E flat seven. Here's the chord shape that we chose. Okay, so this chord uh, also takes mixolydian, but this time it's obviously going to be E flat mixolydian. Now, it's still the fifth mode of a, of a scale, but in this particular case, E flat mixolydian is the fifth mode of the A flat major scale. So again, effectively to get the sound of E flat mixolydian, all we need to do is play an A flat major scale or the notes of the A flat major scale over an E flat seven chord. And here's the shape we're gonna use to do that. There's our chord shape. And here's our scale shape. We can continue that down onto the low E string as well. Like that. So our full shape. Okay, bar three sees us back at B flat seven again, and we're gonna apply exactly the same B flat mixolydian uh, to that shape, which we did in bar one, just very quickly. That's all you need for that particular chord. Okay, bar four contains the two five of a two five one. Uh, that's F minor seven and B flat seven. So over F minor seven, we're gonna play F Dorian. This is the second mode of the E flat major scale. So effectively, we play the E flat major scale over an F minor seven chord to get F Dorian. So let's hear what that sounds like. Here's our chord shape. And here's our scale shape starting on F. Okay, so you can hear that that's the mode of F Dorian, but we're gonna take it for granted that the F minor seven chord is being played behind our scale. And here's the wider scale shape covering that area. Again, those are just the notes of the 
E flat major scale. Uh, okay, so as the B flat seven is part of a two five one, we want to use it to create tension. Therefore, instead of playing B flat mixolydian on this, we're going to play the B flat altered scale over it. Now, as you'll probably remember, the altered scale is the seventh mode of the melodic minor. Therefore, B flat altered is the seventh mode of C flat melodic minor. Um, as C flat and B are the same note, uh, it's probably easier to think of this as B melodic minor. Therefore, we can achieve B flat altered by playing the B melodic minor scale over a B flat seven chord. Okay, so here is our B flat seven again, but this time instead of mixolydian, we're gonna play Okay, I'll continue that over two octaves. Okay, let's move on. Um, the next chord in our progression, F, or sorry, uh, E flat, dominant seventh, we've already covered, is gonna take an E flat mixolydian mode as you saw earlier. The next chord is gonna be E minor seven, going to, a, or sorry, E flat minor seven, going to A flat seven. Uh, and as we said earlier, this is a two five. Um, both these chords are gonna come from the same key, which is D flat major. This is the two chord, and this is the five chord. So we're gonna play E flat Dorian over the E flat minor chord. A flat mixolydian over the A flat chord. Uh, now those contain exactly the same notes. We're just playing effectively the notes of the D flat major scale over both of those chords. 